25 points, uh, eight free throws in overtime to really help ice it and, and take the win. And coming off a 30-point game, how, how are you feeling uh, right now with you know, kind of just jointedness uh, of you know the last month or so? Um, the truth is that I didn't start well in the first half time. I only had uh, three points. I didn't offer something on defense, and I just made it a point to myself that I will go better at the second half time. So I kind of bounced back because I need. I thought I needed to help my team better. So yeah, that's what got me going. Mostly today was my my, my inner self talking to myself that I'll step up on the second half time. Uh, yeah, I think that my team is trusting me, and that gave me confidence. So I just kind of kept going. Those. In the, in the first quarter, they were they were trapping the ball handler on the, on the pick and roll, and kind of getting you guys out of the flow of the offense. I think uh, Elena, uh, Lisa hit a, hit a three to kind of take them away from that. What what caused so much trouble, you know, early in that first quarter with, with the, the doubling on, on the pick and roll with the ball handler? Mm, I think we weren't executing what we already practiced. Uh, so that didn't work out, not executing what we planned wasn't working out in the half time, but in the second half time, we got more focused, so we executed better and kind of got away of that trap they were making on the pick and roll, yeah. In overtime, you make seven out of eight free throws the last seven in a row. You got to want the ball, though, to get fouled. How much did you want the ball in overtime? Uh, that's me, actually. I I enjoy having the ball in my hands. It's not that I'm selfish or I don't want to pass. Uh, it's when I have the most confidence in me, and that's why I do want the ball, actually. Yeah. All right. We good? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Nice.